Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hi Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting Olympiad question. We have x square minus y square equal to 12 and we need to find our x and y. So right now you can easily pause the video and write your solution real quick down into the comment section and we will check our answers here in a few minutes. It will be it will be really interesting to check our answers. Okay, so how can we solve this question? x square minus y square. It looks like it looks, sounds familiar. This however looks like formula from school, no? When we have a square minus b square, let's remember that. So we have a square minus b square. We can easily write it as a product, so a plus b times a minus b. Okay, I hope, I really hope you know about this formula. And right now, let's write this one in terms of this formula. We can easily write it as x plus uh, x plus y and x minus y. Let's do this right now. So we have x plus y, x plus y, and times x minus y. In terms of this formula, so everything is great, equal to equal to 12. And right now let's look closely at this question from another perspective. We have x plus y, this is for example in our mind this is our constant, and I don't know exactly what it is constant, but this is our constant. And we have the second parenthesis, so this is also a constant. So to be honest, this is a constant and this is a constant. So right now we can we need to review all combinations because we have 12 right here, so it's not a huge number, so we can easily find all of these, all of these combinations. So right now let's do this. So 12 can be written as a product of two constants. Uh, let's do this, so we have 12 times 1, the first combination. We have the second one, 1 times 12, which is also correct, because we can easily swap it in terms of multiplication, yeah? This, uh, the third one, 6 times 2, yeah? 6 times 2, we have 2 times 6, yeah? 2 times 6, 4 times 3, and 3 times 4, I guess, yeah? And right now a lot of students make this common mistake, they try to mm, check all of these combinations, they try to solve all of these combinations, but we don't need to check it at all, because right here, when we look closely, x plus y, is greater than x minus y. So let's write it. I'm going to write it on the right side. So x plus y is greater than x minus y. So this parenthesis is greater than this one. You ask me why, you can easily add, uh, for example, y to both sides. And as a result, we have x plus 2y <coughs> is greater than x. Okay, because we're going to cancel this y from both. And we're going to add y to both sides. And as a result, you can see that we uh, had the same x, but we on the left side, we add to this x to y. So this one is this one is greater. This parenthesis is greater. So right now, let's consider our left constant, which is greater than the right constant. So let's look at it. So 12 times 1, we are interested in this. This is great. 1 times 12, we don't need it. 6 times 2 is great for us, because the first constant is greater than the second. 2 times 6 is not good for us, 4 times 3 is good for us, yeah? And 3 times 4 is not good for us. So as you can see, we have only three cases. Let's write all of these cases on the, on the left side right here. So the first one, x plus y, x plus y times x minus y, x minus y equal to the first 12 times 1. This is our first, first case. So 12 times 1. The second case... Also, we can easily write it real quick. So x plus y times x minus y equal to, we have 6 times 2, 6 times 2. The third case, so, and the last one, okay? So we have x plus y times x minus y, x minus y equal to 4 times 3. So we have 4 times 3. So right now, let's solve it. On the first side, this looks complicated stuff, but this is our basic system of equations. We can easily write this one as x plus y equal to 12, so in, in, in another way, okay? So let's solve it. So let's split this part, and let's solve, for example, first, first system of equations. So we have x plus y equal to 12, yeah? And x minus y, x minus y equal to equal to 1, okay? x minus y equal to 1. How can we solve it? With a very interesting trick, we can easily add this equation to this one. And as a result, we will cancel our y. So we have only 2x equal to 13. 13, and we have our x equal to 13 over 13 over 2. To be honest, in the beginning we need to find our natural natural roots. This is non-natural number, so we can easily reject it real quick. We, we because we solve this question in terms of our our rules right here, so we don't need this. Uh, we don't need this value because this is our non-natural numbers. But let's let's solve it completely. So uh, then we can easily reject it at all. But let's find first of all our our y. From here we have x minus y equal to 1. Let's split it. So we have x minus y equal to x minus y equal to 1. And as a result, what do we have? 13 half instead of this x. So we have 13 half minus y equal to 1. Let's multiply both sides by 2. So as a result, we have 13 minus 2y 
minus 2y equal to equal to 2. From here, let's solve it. So minus 2y equal to 2 minus 13. So minus 2y equal to minus 11. And from here, our y, y equal to 11, 11 half. This also rejected. We rejected because we are interested in, in natural roots. But let's, let's write our uh, pairs right here. So the first pair, 13 half, 13 half and 11 half. This is our answer to the first to the first case. We reject it. We reject reject this uh, pair. But maybe you know sometimes happen that uh, your teacher, for example, say that you solve this question completely in terms of real numbers. So this is a solution in terms of real numbers. In our case, we don't need it because we want to solve it in terms of naturals. But maybe you're interested in this. You can also uh, this is a correct solution, but not natural. Okay. In our case, we are not interested in this. So the second the second system of equation. Let's solve it. So we have second x plus y equal to six. So we have x plus y equal to six, and x minus y x minus y equal to 2. Yeah, x minus y equal to 2. Let's solve it with the same algorithm. We can easily do this. From here we will we add 2x equal to 8. So we have 2x equal to 8 and from here x is equal to is equal to 4 which is extremely important for us because x is equal to 4. It's our integer. This is a great uh, greater root but right now let's find our y. Let's see what will happen when we find our y. So x minus y x minus y equal to 2. So as a result, we have 4 minus y equal to 2. From here, we have minus y equal to minus 2. And from here, we have that our y equal to 2. So as you can see, we find our, our first pair. So let's do this. So we have x equal to 4 and y equal to 2. We're going to check it a little bit later. Let's leave it like that. We have the third pair, x plus y equal to 4 and x minus y equal to 3. Let's do this. So we have x plus y equal to 4. Yeah, we have x plus y equal to 4 and x minus y equal to 3. Let's add it. Let's do the same stuff right here. So we have 2x equal to 7. And right now I see that we don't have uh, natural roots because we have x equal to 7 half. But let's let's solve it. Maybe you you know you need to uh, look at it in the perspective of real numbers. So right now let's let's solve it. x minus y equal to 3 x minus y equal to 3 and from here we have 7 half minus y equal to 3 so we plug in this uh, 7 half instead of this x okay let's multiply it by 2 because we don't need this uh, denominator it's it's complicated a little bit yeah so we have 7 minus 2y equal to equal to 6 so from here we have minus 2y equal to 6 minus 7 minus 2y equal to minus 1 and y equal to one half and this is our third third pairs we have right here seven half and one half this is also our 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 solution right now let's check it real quick because we are interested in this one in natural uh, natural value so right now let's check it let's check check our our root so first of all we had in the beginning x square minus y square equal to 12 and we are interested in this natural number. So we have x equal to 4 and y equal to 2. Let's check it. So as a result, what do we have? We have 4 square minus 2 square equal to 12. And I guess everything is great right here. We have 16 minus 4 equal to 12. So yeah, our root is absolutely, absolutely correct. So let's write our final answer to this question. Let's do this real quick. Let's write our final answer to this, to this question. So our answer our answer right here we have mm, uh, our x and y equal to we have 4 and 2 this is our natural na uh, answer we we need to solve it in terms of naturals but sometimes happen you know that to your teacher for example don't have any restrictions uh, to these uh, they say okay you can easily solve it in terms of real numbers decimal and uh, negative doesn't matter yeah but sometimes happen that you need to solve this question completely so x and y also equal to equal to first per 13 half right here 13 half 11 half 13 half 11 half this is our first pair and the second pair we have seven half and one half seven half and one half you can easily you can easily check it so this is our 
this have a full solution, but in terms of this question, we're interested only in, in naturals, but you know, sometimes happen that you need to solve this question in terms of real numbers, or like the whole numbers in the world, so we can easily use mm, this answer as well, which is also correct, but non-natural, okay? So I really hope you, you understand it. So this is my explanation to this question. You can easily write a question down into the comment section, write your solution down into the comment section. What do you think about this type of question on my channel? Thank you everyone for your, for your support, for your kind comments, for your response. I really appreciate it. It inspires me a lot to make new content every day. And obviously it inspires me to make new, new mass challenges every day. I really appreciate it. So thank you everyone for your time. Wish you all the best in your life. Write your response down into the comment section. See you in the next videos and take care of yourself.